Yeah, yeah. Lady Justice in the house. Keeping the balances of justice level with the light of liberty shining bright. Hey, what's their major malfunction? Tyranny, right? Lady Justice inviting all the people out on an adventure. Let's go see what we can find. Who's in? I wanted to give a two-part shout out to a newer channel. That channel, catch you later. Go over, show support by subscribing and assisting him in growing his tree of liberty. Next, I want you to watch the videos he's been putting up. Links are in the description. All right, guys, how you doing today? It's uh, April the 15th at 11.33 a.m. in Gainesville on 13th Street. And see if these fine folks will... Uh, sorry, I'm getting my cam set. See if these fine folks are going to let us... Uh, if, if they're going to violate our First Amendment right. Let's see if they're going to violate my first amendment. How, How you doing today? Good. How can I help you? Oh, I just came to fill out some paperwork. Okay, that's not recording or anything, is it? Absolutely. Oh. I'm interacting with my government. I'm on okay, uh, I'm sorry, you can't publicly you accessible you, area. Sir, it's posted. You cannot I understand see it. that it's posted, but... Can you fill away, please, sir? Let me ask you something no, real quick let me before you Let me explain ask. federal law to you. Okay. You don't need to. I understand it. Federal law states... No. Smith v. Cummings no says, video. Smith v. Cummings is a Supreme Court ruling that allows us to Sir, film our government when we're having elections. You cannot film here. inside the Social Security office. Uh, call it's someone posted. that knows different. I understand that it's posted, sir. I need you to step outside. Your I'll wait right here in the AC. I need you to exit Please the building. do not touch me. Turn your video Please off do not and touch step me. outside. Please do not touch me, That sir. I'm requesting you to leave. I understand your request. I'm requesting I'm you to leave. your request, sir. You are going to leave. Please do not put your hands on me, sir. sir you need to leave. Please do not put your hands on me. You need to me. leave now. You're violating my First Amendment right. You're violating my constitutional you rights. What's your name? My name's James. McLean. You need What's to leave. What's your badge number? You need to leave. What is your badge? Sir. Sir. Oh, God. Oh. Oh, God. Oh. Um, what a fake. Oh. Oh. What a fake. Oh. Oh. What a fake. Oh. Oh. Did you just hear that two toed tyrant call Catch You Later a fake after throwing him down on the ground? Oh. oh. I've got a bad back and you just hurt me when you shoved me into the door. Oh. oh. So you're a big fake. Oh. You're a big fake. Oh, God. And again, the security guard verbally abuses. Catch you later. You cannot videotape. Oh. Do not touch my equipment. Give it back. Now the social security security guard is physically stealing his personal property. Next, catch you later, ended up at the police station to get some assistance on the physical assault he just encountered as well as the thievery of his personal property. And that, as you know, landed on deaf ears. That's not that's correct. That's what a policeman's gonna to conclude today, Jerry. Well, if you look at the video that's here, the, he asked me, why are you here? And I said, to fill out some paperwork. Okay. It's stated right there. I mean, that was before anything else jumped off. So, so I understand it, that yeah. you guys are gonna take his side. It's, Is it reasonable to believe no. when when you were narrating it coming from the parking lot. This pitiful, pesky piggy is making bacon and colluding with the Social Security guard at the Social Security office. Entering the business with a tripod that your intentions were to do anything else but Absolutely. That. Now this pitiful, pesky piggy is trying to criminalize filming in public. Absolutely. It is reasonable because how else do you prove that you've done something and, and this guy's deleted a video? I mean, I know that's not right. That's a violation any of my rights. That, did you have any paperwork to bring to them for your for services that you wanted? They got all the paperwork. Or were you supposed to walk out of there with any paperwork today? Yeah, I would have if I'd have been able to complete the mission, but they stopped yeah. that. So, 
Yeah. I don't have anything except a sore body yeah. and dissatisfaction in his behavior. I'm sorry. Well, that's not your fault, man. I know that was rough. So we'll, we'll keep that as a placeholder. If we have to build upon that, we can. Where's your part, man? Not here. <laughs> no, it ain't that bad. I'll make it. All right. In a couple of days, that, that report will be approved through the public release policies, and you can have a copy of it, either mail it to the house um, or come by in person. Just let you know what you want. All right. Thanks. Good luck. Well, as you can see, that blue line is, is uh, almost completely uncrossable. There you go. I wanted to hear your side of the story and help you with the report today. Say again. I wanted to help you. I wanted to hear your side of the story and help you with the report today. All right, officer. We already know this pesky piggy is making bacon with the social security security guard. Dominico, right? Yeah. Can I have your badge number, sir? 760. Thank you very much. What happened today? I went down to the Social Security office to do some paperwork. Anyway, uh, <clears throat> I went inside the door to videotape in the lobby, which I'm legally allowed to, okay. as per uh, Smith v. Cummings Supreme Court ruling recently. And the security guard beat me up and I have a video of that he wouldn't even allow me to talk to him or nothing he he said I'll show you the law and he ran past me and got a piece of paper with a yellow sticky on it a note you know what I mean and uh, he came up there and I asked him well do you mind if I look it up and he didn't want to have any of that he didn't want to hear none of that and I told him he was violating my rights also, it's my First Amendment right to video my government in the course of their duties. And he slammed me against the door frame and injured my back. It's already injured one time. I have a condition, and he has aggravated that, and I am planning on going to the hospital after this. Is there something I can view for you on your behalf? Arrest him. He's assaulted me. He broke the law. Is there, is there some record? Is there a video I can view on your behalf for evidence? Yes, sir. Okay. Would you like to go inside the air conditioner and let's look at Guys, it? I'm going to pause this recording real quick and yeah, me and me. Officer Domenico are going to look so, at it. Tell me where you have that I can use as evidence on your back. The links are in the description. Go over, subscribe to Catch You Later, Let Him Know, Lady Justice, Liberty Press sent you over. And shine the light of liberty bright.